Let's be totally honest. One of the biggest problems in America right now is black privilege. Let's be totally honest. By the time I'm done with this video, he should be legally barred from ever using the word honest ever again. Since we're from the same city and around the same age, I think I should introduce myself in the downright worst way possible. Let's begin. For example, last month in Georgia, a black man shot and killed four elderly white people. The town it happened in hadn't seen a single homicide since 2018. And yet despite all of this, no one really seems to care. The story barely got any national news coverage. But when the races were reversed and a similar incident happened in Florida, there was a national outcry. Let's just pause for a second and realize that 267,000 of you like this video. I consider you all irredeemable. Do you know why? Level one, let's assume that everything he mentions in this video, including this scenario, is exactly as he represents it. I mentioned in a recent video that black people have had at least 1,500 anti-black hate crimes committed against them every year since 1991. That is the most out of any demographic in this country. If I sat in front of you with a tie on like I am right now and read through seven instances of these hate crimes, I could easily paint the narrative that the biggest problem in Americans Today is white privilege, but somehow one guy spouting off six individual instances is enough to prove his point. Level two, his main gripe seems to be that we hear about these instances when they happen to black people, but never when black people are the perpetrators. And if I grant you that, you want to know what else we don't hear about? The vast majority of murders. That is because they literally happen every single day. So cherry picking six examples and assuming that the reason why we didn't hear about them is because the race of the perpetrator is downright bullshit and you have no justification for it. Level three, and this is where it gets bad. Remember when I said assuming that every situation is exactly as he represents it. Hey, remember this first video that I made about him where he literally got caught lying about the studies and sources that he's using in his own video that would have been debunked if he just finished reading the sources that he used in his own video? Why am I telling you this as if it's leading up to something? Well, no reason. It's cause he did it again. Oh my good, you can't make this. He took this screen grab from the article and put it in his video. I copy and pasted it and came to this article in the AP. Hey, remember where the whole point of the video is that when black people kill white people, no one hears about it, but then when white people kill black people, everyone hears about it. Like that's the entire fucking purpose of the video. Like that's the whole reason why he made the fucking video to prove that black privilege was a thing. So if we read the AP article, here's the sentence where it says Hampton had not had a previously recorded homicide since 2018, the part that he put in his video. Guess what the fuck happens when you scroll down? Longmore, the black person who shot the white White people had needed mental help for nearly a decade, but his family and officials couldn't force him to get the treatment. He had a mental breakdown in 2014, leading to an inpatient hospital stay. This is some more information about the shooter. Notice how we don't have any information about any motive besides the fact that he had severe mental health problems. We especially don't have a motive of race anywhere. Hmm, well, let's hop back over to the video and find this other headline. But hold on one second. Keen-eyed viewers, or frankly fucking eyed viewers, could see that it says three people dead after gunmen targeted black people in Jacksonville, Florida, officials say. Guess what the fuck's in the article? This shooting was racially motivated and he hated black people, the sheriff of Jacksonville said. You see why all y'all are irredeemable? He left behind three manifestos for why he did the shooting. Even Ron the shithead said that he was targeting people based off of race. And that guy fucking hates African American studies. By the way, he killed only black people in a majority black neighborhood and he had a fucking swastika on his gun. The fuck is this here for then? Oh, and it gets even worse from here. Because I'm not going to talk about your video anymore. If I went through every instance you misrepresented, I could probably blow you the fuck out of the water for 20 minutes. But it seems as though lying is not just something that Daniel does in his spare time when he's trying to rant about how black people are kind of evil. It seems to spill over into the real world and it has really dangerous consequences. Since Daniel over here has been going on a media tour since 2022, getting featured on Fox News, hosting videos like this entitled CNN Dissed Me, and even getting to speak with Tucker Carlson based off of a failure to Google something. When I say fail to, I don't mean it was an accidental miscalculation. You don't read half an AP article and specifically not read the other half that tells you exactly why you're wrong by fucking accident. I mean a stroke of ignorance so irrational it has to be deliberate. JJ, what are you talking about? Spit it out already. You see, in the winter of 2022, there was a class at the University of Chicago that was scheduled to be taught entitled The Problem of Whiteness. This seems to have confused Daniel. I mean, every time he talks about it, he says, Now, this class stood out to me because, you know, what is it implying that there's a problem of being white or there's a problem of white people or whiteness or whatever? Just based off that title, what is that suggesting that there's a problem of white people or whiteness? I mean, it's totally racist. It's totally bizarre. And you know, college is meant for critical thinking and honest engagement. If you're anything like me and you see a provocatively titled college course, what do you do? You could email the professor and ask what the class is about. You could go into their office hours and have a discussion with them one-on-one. -on -one. You could enroll in a class just to see what it's about. And if you don't like it, drop it and contact your advisor or pull your professor to the side and talk to them and voice your grievances about the course. What do you think Daniel did? He took to his 50,000 follower Twitter account, cried anti-white racism, and posted the professor's picture along with her email. Then he began the media tour, being featured on Charlie Kirk, Newsmax, and The Daily Wire. Elon Musk responded to him. And you know what's been going on this whole time since? A professor has been receiving death threats. Just pause to read some of these. 
Mind you, Daniel has already been fired from a news publication over harassment of a coworker. And as a result of this news story, Professor Journey received upwards of 80 threatening emails and this article was published months ago. She has had to take extraordinary safety precautions just to teach a class on campus normally. And he has yet to stop talking about it to this day. Now question, do you think any of these fuckwits actually Googled what the problem of whiteness would entail? Do you think any of these fuckwits actually realized that the field of whiteness studies has been long since substantiated and if you have a problem with it, then you can take it up with the literature and the scholars who are responsible for the field. Do you think Daniel ever spoke to her about what the course is actually saying? Seeing as he seems to be so confused about whether or not the course is saying there's a problem with white people. They fucking didn't, so I did. When we spoke, I made sure to get a rundown of what the course is generally about. She informed me that the class is about historicizing whiteness as a system of power, authority, authority and control and how it structures our world and structural inequality. The class looks at the system of whiteness, not the problem with white people. The title of the course, while provocative, is an artistic reference. It's a callback to W.E.B. Du Bois's famous question, how does it feel to be a problem he posed in 1903. It also alludes to a documentary in the 60s featuring James Baldwin that discusses how white people created the N-word, therefore it is white people's problem to sort it out. She made clear to me that the subcaption of the course is really the problem with white supremacy. This field of study is not just white people bad, nor is it new. It is backed up by over a century centuries worth of historical scholarship. Some things that they look at is the fact that white people just assume they are just white and not racialized like everyone else in the society when they are and they explain how that is. They look at practices like redlining, food deserts, housing discrimination, the effects of white supremacy and law. It also looks at critiques of white feminism and it touches on the topics of intersectionality. Or fucking any anthropological or sociological course in existence if you're in college. I pulled that much information from simply talking to the professor and I don't even go to that school. Talking and in engaging honestly is never what it was about. It's about propping Daniel up as another face of the culture war while being too fucking stupid or willfully ignorant to actually read past a headline, which is exactly what the fuck he did here. Rebecca is the second professor I've talked to in the last two months that are facing threats to their life and safety because of a course that they decided to teach and the people who are too idiotic to actually look at what they're saying. So as long as people like Daniel exist, I will be here to make goofies out of all of you for endangering the lives of people who are doing their jobs and dedicating way more time and effort into these topics than you ever have for anything in your lives. Daniel, I hope you enjoyed the media tour. Good day.